In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to convert your Google AI Studio website straight to WordPress so that you can push it live and give it to your clients. So in my last video, I created uh, this website and I showed you guys exactly how to do that. If you want to watch that video, I'm going to link it somewhere here. Just click on the screen and you can watch that. But if you already did watch that and you had your website like this, I got a lot of questions, people asking, this is good and all, but how can I put this to WordPress and how can I put this live? So if you're asking that question, this video is for you. I'm going to show you guys step by step exactly how to get your website onto WordPress completely live. So we're going to need a couple things for this to work. We're going to need a hostinger plan to have our WordPress hosted on hostinger. And since a lot of these websites are going to be using node.js uh, i would recommend getting the business plan but just go to hostinger slash web dash hosting and you could get the plan right here with this plan you can make a bunch of websites and you should be good to go so once you're in hostinger you're gonna want to set up the wordpress uh, plugin so that you can have a wordpress file I'm not going to go through the whole process of how to set up the WordPress on Hostinger. It's pretty easy. But once you do that, you're also going to need a domain connected to your WordPress account in Hostinger. So once all that is done, you should see something like this where you can have an overview of your dashboard. Now, if we click on the domain, I already set it up for my website. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. But for this video, I'm going to show you guys how to put this one live. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is download the app. So in the top right here, it says download app. That's going to download a zip file with all the code that you need. Now, once you download all the code, you should see a zip file like this with everything. Then what you want to do is make a new folder on your desktop and drag and drop everything in it. So I'm going to do that real quick. So I made this file called new site and I put all the files in there. Another thing you guys are going to need here that's pretty important is anti-gravity. This is Google's IDE. So you can just download that straight from their site. Just go to antigravity.google.com and you can download it right here. So once you have anti-gravity opened up, all you're going to do is go into the top left here where it says file and you're going to click open folder. Then you're going to find your folder and you're just going to click select folder. Once you do that, you're going to see your files have imported into anti-gravity and you're going to click trust and continue. Make a slash dist file so that I can bring that file into WordPress so that we can see this website on WordPress. So I'm just going to say that. And then I'm also going to put this code in the description, but you want to make sure you add this code as well. So this is just some extra code. I'll put it into the description, but if you don't put this, it could kind of break the code. So I'm just going to submit all that and let it run. So now anti-gravity is just going to convert the files so that we can actually put them into Hostinger so that WordPress will show it. All right, and it just finished running. So now, as you can see, we have a dist file right here. So we can leave anti-gravity now. We're pretty much done with that. And you want to go back to the Hostinger dashboard right here. Another thing is you want to reopen your file and make sure that there is a dist in here. And you should see some files in here. As you can see, we have assets and we have index. So now in our dashboard for Hostinger, all we're going to do is we're going to go to the file manager. And in the file manager here, we're going to open public underscore HTML. And then over here, we just want to create a new folder. So we're going to click new folder and we'll name this AI site 2 and I'm going to click create. So as you can see, now we have the folder and it's empty. All we're going to do is take the files that we just created, only the ones in the dist folder. So assets and index.html and just drag and drop that straight into here. Now, once you did that, you're done with the file manager setup. All you're going to have to do next is go back to the dashboard. And now we're going to go to the WordPress admin. So once we're here at the WordPress admin, all we want to do is go to uh, edit site. And over here, you're going to see a bunch of stuff. This is the WordPress site that's live. You're going to click here on the left and me all I did was I hid the header the group and everything that was there I just kind of clicked here and I uh, hit it 
And then you're going to want to add a custom HTML block. So you're just going to click here and you're going to write custom custom HTML block. And you're just going to add one of those. I already have one added, but inside that HTML block, you're going to be able to put some code and you're going to want to put this exact code here. I'll put this code in the description as well. So this is basically just going to iframe connect to the files and display that on your website. So as you can see here, the source right now is our AI dash site. So I'm just going to add the two because that's the file we just created and I'm going to click save. So now when we click uh, here to preview the site, we're going to click view site. And boom, just like that, we have put our website live on WordPress. So just a quick overview, you guys want to download the app extract those files into a new folder, open anti-gravity, and then tell it to create a dist file as well as the extra code to make sure it doesn't bug. And then once we have the files, we go into our file manager and create a new folder in the public HTML here. Uh, it doesn't matter what you name it. And then inside that, we just put the content of the dist file and then we just edit uh, the main home page of our website that WordPress is using and we add this code to use those files as the page. Well, hopefully that was simple enough. I know a lot of you guys were asking for this. So now any of the websites you make on Google AI Studio, you're able to put straight into WordPress and impress your clients like that. Either way, this was just a short video. I know a lot of people asked for this specifically, so I want to make a video showing you guys how to do it step by step. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like and a subscribe. Also, I do have my school in the description below. If you want to learn more about AI and N8N, go ahead and join that. As well as if you have any questions about AI or you want to implement AI into your business, don't hesitate to book a call with me and we can work something out. Anyways, guys, have a great rest of your day and peace.